Good morning everybody. I hope we are all well. I just thought I would come on today. I have not done one of these in a very long time. But yeah, this way I thought I would come on and do a bit of like a, a morning or a day in the life vlog and just take you along with me because I have got lots to get sorted today. I have Hudson, you gonna say hello? Hello. Hello, good boy. I have Hudson with me today. The two bigger two are at like a summer camp, which they absolutely love going to. And I have got so much to sort out. Yesterday I decluttered my utility room and minimalized it all. We are gonna get out one second, pop it. And I need to go and get some containers and stuff for it. So I'm gonna hit up B&M, TK Maxx, Dunelm, and Matalan, which is a lot of walking. And I am 31 weeks pregnant today. And um, Bump is growing. And I know this is gonna be painful, doing a lot. I'm hoping he'll cooperate and go in his pram, which he doesn't really like going in anymore. But yeah, so I thought I'd take you along with me. And then I've got loads of life admin bits to try and get done indoors today as well. But I'll also go home. When I go home, I'll show you the utility because, oh my God, it's so insane. And then do go and watch that video. But yeah, I just thought I'd go and have a little nosy at what's new in B&M. Okay. What, darling? Airplane. You're going to go, air? oh, an aeroplane? What, in the sky? Good boy, pop your shoes on. Okay. Good boy. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd take you along with me, have a look and see what's new in the shops. I know there's so much Halloween and autumn decor out right now, which I really want to buy, but I'm holding off buying because I need to go through what I've already got and I'm going to upcycle some things. Um, but yeah, thought I'd bring you along with me. Okay, so it's a little bit later on now. We have been to, where do we go? We went to B&M, we've been to Dunelm, we've been to TK Maxx, and we've been to Sainsbury's. And there wasn't much in them. I was a bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there wasn't overly, hello. There wasn't overly a lot in them. I did go to quite a small TK Maxx and B&M. It was just kind of like my local one. So there are definitely better ones I can go to. And when the kids go back, I'm definitely gonna attempt to go to all the bigger stores, bigger home bargains and stuff like that and hopefully get some more bits. But I'm now at Matalan because I wanna see if I can pick up some really sweet baby bits. They always have like some really nice neutral bits in here, but I also have seen a really cute like little strawberry pink baby grow, which I think I might bring to the hospital because I want that one little girly thing. I don't know if I've shared on here or not, but we're not actually finding out what gender the baby is and we don't have long left. So I need to start thinking about that. And I've got some more bits for the utility room that I wanna do. Yeah, and again, this is a small matter land, but I want to see what autumn decor they've got as well. So let's go have a look. When these days have been gone. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've done lunch and I've just popped Hudson up for a nap. I'm knackered, I've been at the shops for hours and that much walking really does tire me out. I've got so much pressure now. I think fourth baby, everything's kind of like stretched and stuff like that. So I'm absolutely shattered. Um, we've had a lot going on in this pregnancy. So I thought I'd come on and give you a little bit of a pregnancy update and then share with you the bits that I picked up. I ended up going to, I think I said I went to Sainsbury's, Matalan, Hey, uh, b and HomeSense, TK Maxx. So I picked up a few bits from quite a few of the different shops, mainly for the utility room at Decluster. So like I said, do go and watch the video because I can't wait to get all these bits out. But in terms of pregnancy, everything's been running pretty, pretty smoothly until recently when I went for a 28 week growth scan. 
I say recently, a few weeks back. Um, I went for the growth scan and they basically said I have really enlarged waters. I'll see if I can pop a photo on the screen, but on my chart, my waters are basically off the scale. And I was like, oh my God. So basically that night, they ended up keeping me in hospital for a little bit. I just went up there on my own thinking, everything would be fine. I was in and out for a quick scan. I'd seen my consultant that morning, um, who was basically like, look, I'm not gonna see you now until you have the baby because I'm really happy with the way everything's progressing and going and whatnot. So they basically tested me. They did some blood work to test for an infection. And basically there's loads of infections that can cause your waters to be large. I'm trying to remember the name of, it's called, Hypo, let me get the name of this. Okay, so it's called polyhydramnios, dramnios. Um, but basically my waters were off the scale large. So they tested me for infections and they did all my blood work. They also had me have a fetal medicine scan where fetal medicine came by, that was last week or the week before, I think it was. Basically scanned all my waters again. Um, and looked at baby because baby could have a swallowing issue um, and basically wouldn't be swallowing enough and that could be why the waters are increasing and they also thought it could be linked to my gestational diabetes so I currently have gestational diabetes I got diagnosed in my last pregnancy with it but I was diet controlled and I've had it again this pregnancy from 16 weeks so I've currently done 15 weeks of it which is insane actually to think that I've almost done the same amount of time I was pregnant before I had it I've done obviously having it. But for anyone that doesn't know, gestational diabetes normally does just go afterwards. It can be caused for a variety of reasons. Um, I'm quite lucky that so far, touch wood, I've also been diet controlled and I'm hoping to stay that way. I'm really, really strict on what I eat. So for lunch a second ago, I had some chicken raiders because I had no fresh chicken or protein left in the house because it's food shop day tomorrow. So I had some chicken raiders and I like having them. They're like a really good, quick on the go thing that you can have. And I'll probably bring them into labor with me as well. I actually, <laughs> I actually also have pepper armies, but I don't, I have, I've stopped buying them. I actually bit a hole in my tongue the other day, which is just horrific. Honestly, like trying to manage my health anxiety during, that, during this pregnancy has been one thing. And then all of these things on top. But yeah, I bit a hole in my tongue, so I've stopped buying them. But yeah, I normally have chicken raiders, some crackers, and an apple for my lunch, like really, really basic. I'm really kind of quite strict on it. And then I'll kind of snack throughout the day, kind of have three smaller meals and three small snacks. That normally doesn't happen, but like sugar-free jelly and things like that. But yes, they tested, I went and had a meeting with my diabetic consultant. He was completely happy that it wasn't linked to my gestational diabetes because all of my readings are always really low, really controlled. Um, I'm diet controlled. So he doesn't think it's linked to that. Um, all of my infection blood work came back completely fine, which is amazing. And from what fetal medicine could see, that was fine as well. Um, so I do have another scan next week with fetal medicine for them to check the baby again, check my waters again, do a growth scan and things like that. And I'll be 32 weeks. Um, but it's just a waiting game now. I'm just literally waiting for that scan. This apparently can happen to 50% of women um, for no like no known reason whatsoever. It just seems absolutely crazy that something like this could happen, but we move. So that is what it is. And at the moment, my water levels have dropped back down. So I went in for a scan the Sunday before last and they dropped back into a normal range and then had my fetal medicine scan on the Monday and they were just above normal. So we're just waiting to see what these waters do this week you kind of go through a stage i think it's up until around now your waters can get larger and larger and then they start tailing back off again so fingers crossed all the best wishes for me and um, keep everything crossed for me that you know my waters go back down because i don't really want to have an increased risk of having to have a c-section because i mean you guys tell me any of you guys have already got kids at school what do you do when you have to drive to school, you don't have any family around and you end up having a C-section you can't drive for six weeks? Like, what the hell am I meant to do? Um, my husband's not around to take them because he's self-employed and he doesn't earn money if he goes into work, doesn't go into work. So I'm a little bit stressed about that, but we move. I'm gonna show you the bits that I picked up. So I'll show you what I got from Matalan first, which is my main reason for going out today. And I'm actually obsessed. 
So first up, I got this. It's this laundry service bottle. I absolutely love the style of this. I think it's so, so sweet. Comes with like a little cork top, but I think this is gonna help me. I'm a bit, I'm a bit awful at like putting a lot of laundry fabric softener into my fabric softener drawer because I like the smell of it, but I think this will slow me down a little bit because the carafe that I've got at the moment is really, really big. So I picked this one up. This was £7.50. So I thought that was really, really reasonable. And then, like I mentioned in my decluttering video, I picked up this. So this is the matching box to the treats and the dog food box that I've got. And it's the cat food. So now they're all gonna match and I think it's all gonna look really, really sweet. So I'm really happy with that. And then what else I picked up from my phone? I also got some unwired i've never worn an unwired bra before which seems crazy but i've got some unwired bras and some knickers because i'm big and i need some new bits <laughs> and then i went into sainsbury's and i saw a really nice wooden stand which i was going to pick up and it was in the clearance for 12 pounds but the color of the wood was just not a vibe and so i didn't pick it up so i've left that for the time being but when i was in there I picked up this for two pound. I wanted a little diffuser, but not a very expensive one, just in case the cat smashes it, because um, he jumps up all the time. So I picked up this diffuser and it was in clearance for two pounds in a cotton sin. And obviously my utility room, because his litter trays in there can get a little bit smelly. So I thought that'd be quite nice to have in there because I don't really have any diffuser bottles left. But I might see, I might have a spare diffuser bottle somewhere, like a neon one or something. But I'd rather keep that for around the house. And then, oh, then I went to Dunelm. And if you watched my decluttering video, I was talking about how I don't have any nice horses. And I picked this up. This was £12, which I thought was so reasonable. I did want a ribbed one, but I love this one as well. And actually, all the ribbed ones are like double the price. This was £12 from Dunelm. I will try and leave everything linked below if I can for you. Um, I absolutely love this vase. So I'm probably gonna keep, I said I was gonna like replace the vase and then get another one, get rid of the other one that I had, the one that I didn't like. But I know that people always send you flowers when you're pregnant. So I might hold on to this one until I'm done being pregnant. And then once the baby's here and I know no one wants to send me any more flowers, then I will get rid of the other one. But I love this, I think it's gonna look so lovely. And then moving on to b and I got an anniversary card. I also got duped into buying these Paw Patrol cupcake making kits, which I'm gonna do with Hudson tomorrow. And then I swear by my one of these, I absolutely love it. However, I use mine day in and day out, every single day of the week. And the kids can knock it over and they're not spill proof. I did buy some little spill proof attachment straw lids, but they're a bit of a faff. So I saw this in B&M and I was like, oh my God, I have to buy it. It was four pound. It was this color, which I absolutely love. It's got a flip top, which I thought would be perfect for labor because I can tip it and I'm hoping it won't all come out. So it's leak proof. It keeps liquids cool for 24 hours and it keeps them iced for 12 hours which I'll be really intrigued to see. It's 0.89 litre, so it's under a litre. I think this one's 1 1.4, so it is a bit smaller, but I don't mind topping this up. Double walled drinking tumbler, easy to carry handles. It's got like a really cute little handle I can carry it with. And I just think that'll be a bit easier than me trying to carry this one around. As you can see, they're quite a bit different in size, but I'm hoping this one will be quite good for the hospital as well. And then on to more laundry stuff. So I have one of these already from Ikea. Ikea do sell these. But I saw this one in B&M and it was four pounds. So this one is for like all of my unstoppable balls and things like that. And then I also picked up these, which I've seen before and I needed some new tumble dry balls for my tumble dryer for when the wind kicks in. But I've never seen ones like this before and I was quite intrigued. So these are like the wall laundry balls, and they say the allows the hot air to circulate better, reducing drying time by up to 20%, reduces static cling, energy savings. So I thought, well, do you know what? They look more neutral, they look really pretty, so I'm gonna get those. They were £3.50. And then I got these for my laundry tablets to pop in again, absolutely love this. Really, really sweet. So I'm gonna pop my laundry tablets in that. So it's a bit 
big laundry hole here and utility room hole and things like that but i'm so excited in a minute i'm gonna go into the utility room and finish setting it all up and decanting everything and yeah because i'm obsessed with everything that i've got oh and the reason i went into sainsbury's is because i went into their argos it's in here at the moment but i picked up a tension rod to hang our clothes on so we can dry them in there and hang them up to dry instead of them hanging all the way around the house normally that room gets so hot because it's in the kitchen obviously we're always cooking the tumble dryer's always on washing machine etc etc so i picked up this i'm gonna get adam to fit it later because it's like a, a tension rod one so you don't need to put any fixings in and then literally at them i can hang like the kids uniform on it to dry I can hang like jumpers, t-shirts, like, all things like that that I don't want upstairs hanging around the doors. And I just thought, you know, it'll keep everything kind of tidier. And then it's down here to be ironed and primarily like we always wear the same stuff. So yeah, I put that up as well. So I'm gonna get Adam to fit that later for me. I would do it myself, but I don't think being 31 weeks pregnant and climbing on a kitchen side is a good idea. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to can the cat food. I'm so excited for this. So, as you can probably see, this is the box we've got at the moment for the cat food, and it doesn't match. So now, they will all match, and I'm not going to need a little scoop. But oh my goodness, I could keep the scoop for one of these things. I wonder if. Maybe I could keep it for that and then decamp my my vanish. Maybe we will see. Yeah, they're definitely not all going to fit on this, but I need to decant that into there. So, this is going to need a little bit of a play around with, so I might come back later and pop those bits on. Let's pop these away. I don't know what I can do to make these kind of look a little bit nicer on the way they're laid out but then obviously once we've got all this and like I said I wanted to get a little wooden stand I think it will look really really sweet so I'm really really happy so I actually had so much stuff to get done today but Hudson has decided he doesn't want to nap he has then just fallen asleep on me in the living room he's going through this stage at the moment whereby he doesn't want to nap doesn't want to go to sleep i'm thinking apparently there's something called a 30 month sleep regression i can't remember this with my other boys at all but apparently it's a thing um so he's going through like a 30 month sleep regression but he's also got back teeth coming through um apparently he napped at his nan's house yesterday so i have no clue what's going on <laughs> with him but yeah so i now need to tidy up this kitchen so i'm going to quickly do a little bit mini of a mini speed clean around the kitchen because it's an absolute state um it didn't get tidied up very well after dinner last night because i was filming the utility declutter so i want to get that done oh i've got an itchy foot and then hopefully i can get upstairs 
my bedroom is also not tidy. <laughs> um, and I want to get some vintage stuff, take some photos of some more vintage stuff because everything that I've put, I've taken photos of so far, I've taken photos of a lot, but it's all sold or it's all on there. And it's literally got about a week or so left before it gets taken down and taken to go to a boot sale. So I think I shared in quite a few of my different videos. I'll leave my vintage link below as well. A lot of stuff has sold. Um, absolutely love that. I am gonna do a video on that soon because lots of you guys have been asking me about it. But I basically put a rule in place with this whole minimalism thing that basically I would keep the items, take photos of them and upload them, give them two weeks on vintage, and then if they didn't sell, then they'd be gone. But um, I'd pop them in a boot sale pile and then my husband's gonna do a big boot sale before the end of summer. And we're gonna go from there. But actually, do you know what? Before I do this, no, I'll do a bit of a clean. And then I've also got a couple of really cute baby bits I wanna show you as well. So let me tidy this up and pray he doesn't wake up. Fingers crossed. transactions do pull through some of them might already be on here but yeah I'm gonna go through pop all these transactions on I can already see actually my transactions are on here for my Matalan and my Argos purchases today let's see oh and my b and purchases so amazing they're all on there so I haven't even got to put them on properly but it actually lets you segregate them out so I use something called sinking funds whereby I make pots of money for each kind of area and I also use pots for like savings and things like that for saving for baby saving for holidays saving for a new car whatever it might be i use monzo and starling for my pots i'll leave a link below to both those because they're both free to use and you can actually accrue a lot of interest with monzo as well i found out recently that my kids had savings accounts and the monzo interest rate is actually better by an extra two percent than the natwest one which i was a little bit disappointed by so I've moved all their money over because you would have thought that like High Street Bank would have had a better interest rate but anyways I'm going to go in quickly do this and then I did have a couple of other life admin bits I put it in my planning app I use an app called Planabella which I absolutely love I've shared it over on my Instagram so many times in the past and um, I've got to pay our newborn photographer deposit for the photography items, I also need to phone HP because my printer set alight. 
it started sparking the other day and I was trying to print a label for one of my vintage parcels. So I also need to phone HP about that. I literally had to like unplug it, pop it out in the garden in the shade. I didn't really know what to do, but it was really smelly. Um, and then I've got a bit of work to do as well. I need to get some videos edited and finalise them so maybe I can get one live this evening and also email some brands back. And there's some other admin, so I was going to go upstairs. But I'm going to see if I can quickly wrap up some of these tasks. And then I've got to leave in about an hour. So let's see how much I can get done. <laughs> this has turned into a very long vlog. I was planning for it to be like a morning one with me, but a day in the life work. in a minute it's like almost half past three Hudson's still sleeping but I've got to go out and grab the kids but I've just made my bed <laughs> um I need to take some vintage photos there's like a pile over there of the last little bits of vintage bits that I need to do but I thought I would quickly come on and show you some of these bits I picked up for baby from H&M because they are bloody adorable so the first thing that I've picked up and I will try and leave these all linked below. I was really annoyed I bought this and then literally a couple of days later it went into the 15% off members sale. If you remember, you get things cheaper. Um, I can't remember how much this was. I think it was around 9.99 or 12.99, but it's a little boo call nappy bag, which I absolutely love. It's really, really big. So my plan is to put this inside like my changing bag. And then I can grab everything all in one go. I can keep like spare dummies in here, maybe milk powder, nappies, wipes. I haven't quite decided exactly what's gonna go in there and what I'm gonna spill it out. But I was thinking primarily nappies, wipes, cream and stuff like that. So then when I need to take baby and change baby, if I'm leaving the bag, I can just grab all of this in one go. But then this is why, this is the thing I wanted the most. So I picked so I picked up this, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's in exactly the same colour and it's a nappy caddy. I absolutely love it. It's this boucle, again, fabric. Um, it's got all these pockets. It's got dividers that you can pop in it. I just think that's going to look so lovely up here in my bedroom or downstairs. I think that was around £29.99, that one. But they are really, really stunning. But other than that, I'm just looking... All I've got is some milk, some maternity pads and some <laughs> neutral dummies. That is it because we're not finding out. Downstairs in the garage, we've picked up a new doona and we've also picked up a new baby swing. So I'll share all of those with you in the upcoming weeks and months. But I need to still order. I've just paid for my deposit for the baby's photos, which is so exciting. I'm going back to a lady that I used for Hudson's first birthday cake smash she is amazing so i'm really excited to see some photos with boys and stuff like that but um yeah i've still got to buy the cot i've got to buy bottles but bottles and dummies and things like that i'm gonna buy it after the baby's here so i can get them in like a color just so i can decide which ones i want for baby i know i could buy neutral but I just want to wait and see what gender baby is first and then potentially buy some so my plan is that that first night i know i'm gonna to have to be kept in hospital so i'm gonna have basically like a massive spend up in hospital no doubt baby will have me awake obviously bottle feeding and things like that so yeah that's the plan hopefully i'll be up for it but if not i mean who doesn't want to do some online shopping in those early hours when babies are born and you can't go back to sleep <laughs> So I'm really excited. But yeah, I need to get a co-sleeper. We had the snooze pod before. I don't think I'm going for that one this time. I want to try something new. Um, just a bit hesitant to buy it because I know and love the snooze pod. And I'm like, oh, what if I don't love the other one? But yeah, so a different co-sleeper. What else do I need to get? A little bit. So like I need to buy a new changing bag, changing mats. But again, the changing mat. 
we still have Hudson's, which is in really good nick, but we need one for downstairs and upstairs. So I'm going to wait until baby's here and then I might be able to buy more one like tailored towards agenda. I need to go in the garage and figure out what bits we have left over for baby. Obviously, we're not doing a nursery as of yet because baby's not going to be in the nursery in its own cot for a while and we're not quite sure how we want to do that yet hudson's still in the cot at the moment with the side up but we're not sure if we're going to have him share a room with parker i guess it depends on the gender of the baby as well if the gender of the baby is a boy and we have four boys then we may just put the baby and hudson straight in together and have them share if it's a girl then we'd probably have move like all the rooms around and have clayton go into a smaller room um, it's not small, small, it's still very big, but then that way Parker and Hudson could share. So we're really not sure. But yeah, I need to take some photos and I've got no energy to do this whatsoever. My son's also decided to go down my makeup bag, it's blusher on the carpet. So I also need to get the blusher up and it's all over my bedding as well, so I need to wash my bedding. Um, but I'm going to do that at the weekend. Um, my plan is to do it tomorrow because... We don't have the kids this weekend and I'm like oh I can lay in bed all day and there is nothing better that I could think of than laying in bed with fresh bedding oh and that also reminds me we're going to watch it ends with us this weekend as well our anniversary is next weekend and so we're doing it like a little bit of a week early so I need to book the tickets for that as well so lots to do lots of fun things are coming up I actually think I'm gonna wrap this up here because I'm a bit worried about how long this video actually is it's gone on for quite a while. We've been, we've had a very busy day, but I hope you guys have just joined, just enjoyed pottering around with me today and some of like my, you know, home life. Um, I'm definitely gonna try and do more of these. I love vlogging. I love looking back on stuff, but I just very rarely think to pick up the camera and I'm always like, all systems go. But yeah, lots more decluttering, minimalism content to come. I said to Clayton, I'll probably tackle his bedroom tomorrow which I said that to him this morning, I'm instantly regretting saying that, but it does need to be done and I do need to tackle the boys' rooms. I think I worked out last night with Adam, I've got about eight more areas that I need to do before baby comes and we have six weeks until baby comes, so I need to tackle at least two areas a week. Ideally for the next three weeks would be ideal and then I'm not doing it right until baby comes. But yeah, do stay tuned for lots of nesting content because no doubt I'll be putting up loads of baby bits over the upcoming weeks and getting things like the caddy all prepared and washing the clothes and stuff like that. So if you like that kind of thing, do come over and subscribe. If you also like decluttering and minimalism and cleaning content, then have a look on my channel. But yeah, that's everything from me today and um, I guess I am going to go and pick up my children and then come home, have a cuppa, cook the dinner and then crack on with this vintage stuff I imagine and then try and crash out and burn for the night because I am so tired and when I come home I just want to get unchanged and slob and you definitely don't need to see that on camera <laughs> but I will see you later. Bye guys!